Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to explain you one of the important data structures, which is called heap. And heap is a very important data structure in the way that uh, it helps us in the, in, in the sorting technique, which is called heap sort, uh, where we can sort the sort an array of elements in an ascending order or a descending order as the, as we want it to uh, be sorted. So heap is a very important data structure. It, it can be of two types. Uh, there are two categories or two types of heaps. That is one is a max heap and another is a main heap. So uh, heap can be divided into two categories. That is a max heap and a min heap. So one is max heap and one is min heap. So max heap and min heap are, uh, I will explain this one by one. What is a max heap? A max heap, uh, suppose a max heap is called an H, called H which has some nodes in it and each of the nodes can be considered to be n. So the heap can be considered to be h and the nodes can be considered to be n. So any, ma any max heap, any heap is a max heap if each node, each node n, each node of this heap uh, is, heap h is always greater than, always greater than or equal to the values of its children. So max heap is something uh, like this. I will just repeat it. Uh, a max heap, a heap is uh, called a max heap. If each node n of the heap h has greater value or equal value to the values of the child nodes or the children. And main heap is similarly defined as just the other way that is each node if a, if a heap is to be a main heap, then each node n of the heap h is, is always less than or having equal values to its children. So that is called the main heap. So max heap and main heap are uh, defined in this way and we can show you by uh, means of an example. I can just show you by, by means of an example of these two types. Uh, by means of a very simple example like this, if we, if we write, write like this, suppose I am going to give an example, suppose this is 95, so this can be 95, this can be 86, this can be 78, this can be 92, this can be suppose 58, this can be 62. So let us see if uh, what I have explained holds good with this figure. Let, let us examine. Suppose if we consider this to be the node n, we see that all the, all the child nodes with respect to this n are having equal value or less value than this, than the value of this n. So this 95, see this 95 has, has an equal value, 86 less than 95, 78 less than 95, 92 less than 95, 58 less than 95, 62 less than 95. So as far as this 95 is considered, the definition is quite, uh, is holding good. But uh, let us see other uh, nodes as well. Let us see whether it holds for this node. So this is 95. And it has two values, two ch children having values 78 and 92. These are all less than 95. So for this 95, it also holds good. 78 has no children, 92 has no children. So we can consider this to be also uh, perfect, uh, perfectly uh, falling under the definition or perfectly following the definition of the max heap. So let us consider this note, 86. So 86 has two children in 58 and 62 and both are less than 86. So it is also well and good uh, 86 with respect to 86, it can also be considered to be a max heap. So for 58 and 62, the reason of 78 and 92 holds good for 58 and 62. So this entire uh, data structure which I have drawn on this uh, on, on, by this figure is nothing but a max heap. So because all the node, all the node if, if they are considered to be, each of the nodes is considered to be n, uh, we see that the definition of max heap holds. That is each node has a value which is either greater or equal to the values of its children. So this definition holds good for each of the nodes of this 
hip so this is essentially a max hip so this is the this is an example of max hip and mean hip is just the vice versa it is just the reverse case of max hip where we see that the each node n of the hip is always less than or equal to the values of the children so if we just uh, write it in this way let us give an example like this suppose i am writing 58 i am writing over uh, this is suppose 65 this is 78 this is this is suppose 86 this is 95 this is 78 this is 99 let us consider this hip suppose this is n and we see that all the values all the values of this uh, children ch of this uh, of this node n has values which are greater than 58 see this 65 78 greater than 58 86 95 78 99 all greater than all greater than 58 or might be it, it might have been equal to the 58 as well but uh, here is no value which we can see that it is 58 so all the values of the children nodes are are greater than this 58 so let us just extend and see whether this definition holds good for the other nodes as well so this 65 if you consider this 65 to be the node n it has two children the value of which are 86 and 95 respectively and they are all having greater values than this 65 so it also uh, is following the, the definition of a main heap so for this node to be n if we consider this 78 to be the node n we see that the two children nodes are having values of 78 and 99 out of which uh, we see the 78 is equal to 78 uh, 78 is the is equal to the value of this uh, node n and 99 has a greater value than node n value so we can also consider this 78 to be following the uh, following the definition following the uh, rules of the of the main hip and for this 86 95 78 99 since they have no children that that can be also considered to be part of the hip so uh, so this is a main hip and this is a max hip so this is a, a little bit of overview i have given in this uh, video about uh, what is a hip and what is what is it uh, uh, what is it required uh, for uh, the applic in the application field it is required in the case of uh, a sorting technique which i have al earlier mentioned that is uh, in the hip sort technique which will be uh, in which we will apply this hip data structure in order to sort an array of elements into an ascending order descending order as the requirement uh, so so this hip is considered to be having two categories it is divided into two categories max hip and main hip and i have described the max hip and the main hip i have given the definition of the max hip and the main hip and and have given each uh, an example for each of the categories so if you have any under any doubts or queries relating to this uh, particular uh, overview of hip data structure you can well post your doubts and queries into the comment section below so that i can address them thanks for watching this video